Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into one of the really cool and often overlooked tools in Affinity Photo, the Style Picker tool. This tool can save you tons of time when you're working with multiple layers, text and objects. So let's check it out and see how it works. By default, the Style Picker tool is not directly visible in the toolbar. It is hidden as a secondary tool under the Color Picker. Click and hold with your mouse to open up the secondary tools menu and now you can select the style picker. If you're planning to use it frequently, you can go to the view, customize tools and drag it to your tools toolbar. Once you are done modifying your tools toolbar, go back to the view menu and uncheck the customize tool menu item. Now that we know how to find the style picker tool, let's go ahead and see what it can do. In essence, it copies the applied styles from one object to other objects. And by styles, we're talking about everything from fill colors and gradients, to strokes, effects and even text formatting. First, we need to fill the picker with a style. An empty picker is oriented to the left and if you have a very good sight, you can see that the dropper is empty. Let's fill the dropper with the style from the curve with the stroke. Notice how the dropper cursor has changed orientation and is filled. Our test subject is the Bugsy bug. So when I click on Bugsy, Bugsy will get the same style properties as the curve with the stroke. Pretty awesome. Right here in the context toolbar, you see some handy settings. You can choose what specific properties the style picker will apply. For example, if we don't want to copy over the stroke, we can disable the stroke. I'll reset Bugsy and select it with the tool enabled. And as expected, the stroke has not been copied over. The all and none buttons on the toolbar are a quick way to enable or disable the style properties. Perfect if you quickly want to copy over one property. The unload button clears or empties the dropper so we can pick another style. The orientation of the cursor has switched as it is now an empty dropper. A quick way to also unload the picker is just using the escape key. You could also click on an empty area on the canvas or the background gray area to unload. Here are some things to keep in mind while using the style picker. When selecting a style, the picker will ignore groups. It will pick a style from an object in a group, which in fact makes sense as the group can have objects with different styles. This also means that if you have effects applied on a group, there is no way to copy over the effects of the group with the style picker. For example, the outline effect we see on the B is on group level. When I pick the style and apply it to Bugsy, the outline effect is not copied over. By the way, instead of clicking on an object, we can also apply the style to multiple objects by selecting them. Click and drag with the mouse over the objects and the objects in the selected area will get the style applied. One thing to keep in mind is that the blend mode and the blend range are not copied from compound objects. This icon, which is a compound object, has the hard mix blend mode and a custom blend range curve. When I pick the style from it and apply the style picker to Bugsy, we notice that the blend of Bugsy did not change. Also, the blend range is unchanged. However, if we use this rectangle, which has the multiply blend mode and the custom blend range, and apply it to Bugsy, the blend mode and the blend range are copied over. By the way, if you do not want the blend mode and the blend range to be copied over, you can turn off the layer opacity checkbox in the toolbar. Another thing to keep in mind while you are selecting a style from an object is that if you have one or more layers selected in the layers panel, the style will be immediately applied to the selected layers. This can be sometimes tricky, but can also be useful to apply a style to multiple objects with one click. The style picker tool also works with image layers. Instead of using the unload button in order to pick a style, we can also use the Alt key modifier to pick a new style without unloading it. For images, the style picker tool is ideal to copy over the blend and the blend ranges. However, it also copies the color fill and the applied effects, like in this case, the blur effect. 
Finally, the Style Picker tool is also ideal for text. But keep in mind that only the style of the word you sampled from will be copied. When applying the style, it works the same way. Only the clicked word will get the style. If you want to apply to multiple words, you can use the selection trick. Or hold down the Ctrl or Command key while selecting the text. This will make sure all the text in the layer will get the same style applied. Remember that you can choose what needs to be applied. If you don't want the font type to change, just turn off the character settings in the toolbar. As you can see, the Style Picker tool makes it incredibly fast to maintain consistent design elements across your project, whether you're working on graphics, shapes or text. And that's it, a simple yet powerful way to streamline your workflow in Affinity Photo, Designer and Publisher, as this tool is available in all the Affinity products. Give it a try and let me know in the comments if you found this video helpful. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it and hit the subscribe for more tips and tutorials on Affinity Photo. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.